I'm Anita Hawken Kuliga. I'm a pediatric endocrinologist in uh, Erasmus University in Rotterdam, the Netherlands. And I'm also president of the European Society for Pediatric Endocrinology. And I'm Jérôme Bertora, an adult endocrinologist working in Cochin Hospital in Paris, France. And uh, I'm the current president of the European Society of Endocrinology. In May 2025, so we will have for the first time ever a joint meeting between the pediatrician and the adults, so the European Society of Pediatric Endocrinology and the European Society of uh, Endocrinology. You know that during the European Hormone Day, we developed uh, together the slogan, because hormones matter, and they mat the hormones matter through all the life, from birth to senescence. So it's really great to organize a meeting where we are going to discuss hormones through all the life both from the point of view of the physiology and the point of view of diseases. The title of the meeting is uh, Endocrinology Across the Lifetime, and that is exactly what we uh, mean, as uh, also Jérôme mentions. It's not that you are a child with an endocrine disorder and then there is a gap and then you are an adult with, uh, with an endocrine disorder. Actually, it's across the lifetime. And that is, I think, the first step also to come more closer together. Because in many uh, centers, it's still that there is an, a pediatric endocrine department and there is an adult endocrine department. And actually, sometimes people do not know each other. You can't believe that. But I hope that this meeting, this uh, joint uh, meeting with a lot of joint sessions, uh, although there are also separate, of course, pediatric and adult endocrine sessions, that this is really the first step to become closer, not only for, let's say, collaborative research, but also for the, the care and, and to set up uh, transitional care for our patients. Yeah, the, the great thing with this joint meeting is that there are some rare diseases that the pediatrician know very well and the adult oncologist not that much. Uh, and we are going to learn from the pediatrician. And on the other side, there are some disorders that are much more frequent in adults than in children. And on the other way, the pediatricians are going to learn from us about this condition. Apart from education, uh, the fact that the two societies are combining their activity and their somehow their workforces, that's also very important in terms of policy and advocacy for endocrinology in general, uh, both in terms of research and healthcare. And we are also both concerned uh, by the question of endocrine disruptors. So we could both work together to make some impact at the um, uh, level of the society and the policymaker on that. Yes, I, I think we realize that we are much stronger when we combine our efforts. Um, uh, until now, I think we have done this quite separately, but uh, over the last year, we have uh, combined some of the, our efforts. Mm -hmm. And then you see there's really, an, uh, as far as I can see, an impact then. So th this is great that we can do more together. And I think regarding uh, networking, uh, I think this joint uh, meeting really gives, I hope, uh, an, uh, an, an um, inspiration to a lot of uh, pediatric and adult endocrinologists to, to work more closely together, both in research, but also in the, in the, for the care in the hospitals because th just these separate departments, that's not the right way to continue. You know, when you come to a minute, meeting, you come from, for science, for networking, and to make new friends. Mm. So my big hope is that then you will have new friends when you are another endocrinologist with the pediatrician and vice versa. So that might be one of the best outcome of this meeting.